Osfordot friends, Earl at the logbook.com. We're here on the ColecoVision. Once again, we are going to give Parker Brothers 1984 Frogger sequel, Frogger 2 3 Deep, a shot. See how it looks and plays on this machine. And, as is often the case with the ColecoVision and its, oop, its TI video chip, very detailed graphics, but they tend to be a single color. jump on the back of the goose or the duck or whatever that is. You can begin Frogger's Ascent to Heaven. Okay, I guess the dragon's a no-go. I don't know how to play that level. I really don't. Whoops. Fish? I thought you were my friends. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I was trying to get the bubble. That looks like I will have another chance. Turtle, you can give me a ride up here. Thank you, Turtle. Well, that didn't go well, so there's no part of the dragon that is frog-friendly. A phrase that I've never said before and may never say again. Oh, I fell off my Uber. Okay, turtle, can I hit your ride? Thank you. Oops. There's always a bigger fish, and it should be avoided. don't remember this game that well and so I'm trying to remember if filling all three of the the slots on the logs here is it 
some pathway to future success in the game in the later levels. I honestly do not remember. We'll find out the hard way. It's the only way I ever find anything out. There's the log. <sighs> That's what's frustrating about this game, is it's so hard to get anywhere, and then you lose that progress. Okay, so we have we have filled all three of the logs here. see if I can make sense of... Oh, okay. So, you have to very carefully calculate your opening and just start bouncing like you're on a trampoline. Because, of course, that is how clouds work. But apparently bumping into the birds, I guess, knocks one of them down and creates a hole in the cloud deck. And that's bad. I wonder if you can jump up onto the backs of some of these birds. Ah, okay, okay. I know someone out there is probably screaming RTFM, dude, but... Uh-oh. Pterodactyl? Alright. Alright, I completed a level on this... <laughs> Whoa, Snick. I didn't ask for that. I did not ask for the snake to be present. He was not invited. Okay, so we've got all of the logs filled here. Let us now proceed to clear this level again. I think I've finally figured out how this game works. Oops. 
Yeah, I think I have finally figured out how this game works, he said as he plummeted back to the first level. Wait patiently for... Oh! Oh, now we're, uh... We're pulling two inner tubes. Okay, so I have to... Have to do more on this level. <laughs> Keyword there is more on. A decent little, decent little port of this game. It really feels like a lot of the effort with Frogger 2 3 Deep went into the Atari home computer version and not perhaps the console versions, which were of. were of widely varying quality. Alright, and now I am here to hitch a ride on the back of the goose. Okay. See if we can I think we have figured it out. Uh, I may have to... I may have to catch the next pterodactyl. So many things I have said in this video that I've never said before. We'll catch the next pterodactyl. This one is not suitable for our purposes. Yes, okay. So, oh, now we're really... The currents in this water are really trucking. And there you have it, Frogger 2 3 Deep on the ColecoVision. Nice port. I'm really glad I finally figured the game out.